Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Favorites and Flops. I hope you all had a really good week. I've had a good week myself. I am ready for the weekend again and I'm just looking forward to some lounging on the couch with, of course, eight loads of laundry to fold. So that's what I'm doing this weekend. Um, I hope you guys had a really great week and that you hopefully also have a chance to lounge on the couch. Maybe not with laundry, but just, you know, watching Christmas movies or something. So anyway, um, I'm going to dive right into my Friday favorites before I do. I do want to let you guys know that today's video is being sponsored by the company Escafil. Uh, they reached out via email and asked if I was interested in trying their skincare products. And I get a lot. I mean, I'm talking like a lot of requests from skincare companies to send me things. The vast majority I say no to, um, even if they do come with a sponsorship, just so you guys know, um, because either they're not cruelty free or um, I'm just not interested in the products. But this particular one definitely piqued my interest. Um, the company is based out of uh, Canada, Toronto specifically, and um, their products contain uh, snail mucin, which is sustainably and cruelty-free harvested, <laughs> which is important when it comes to that because I don't want to be the person that is killing the snails for my skincare, right? So the way that they do the extraction process um, is it doesn't hurt the snails. I believe they are like, they go into like a chamber where they're steamed slightly. They're not cooked. <laughs> I've read into this before, um, but it just causes them to release that snail mucin and then it is harvested and collected and then the snails go back out to a natural environment where they just hang until the next time they're needed for extraction. <laughs> so um, that was really important to me that the snails are not har uh, harmed in the process at all. And this company guarantees that they are not. So um, yeah, they offered to sponsor this video today and I said, sure, why not? Um, I've only been using the products for a couple weeks, so I will have to give you guys an update in terms of like longer term results. But so far, so good, just in what I've noticed over the last couple of weeks. Um, if you're new to my channel, I actually donate sponsorship money to charities. I choose not to keep that. Um, obviously, I do have AdSense on my channel, so that is income that I do make off of my channel. But anything that comes in terms of sponsorship, I, uh, I donate. So uh, it's usually an animal charity because, well, I really like animals. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's get into it, you guys. So I'm going to start with the Escafil products. Like I said, I've been using them for a couple of weeks and have really been enjoying them. And um, I want to share this with you guys. So I did take some notes on a few things because I thought it might be helpful to give you guys some more in-depth information. So the three things that they sent to me were their youth activating eye cream, which is this right here, their um, youth activating serum, and the youth activating cream, which is their moisturizer. I'm going to go ahead and start with this. So um, these products, by the way, are in the like 60 to $65 price range normally. So I would call that kind of the upper end of like mid-range pricing. Um, they are giving me a discount code for you guys. So that will be listed in the description box down below, as well as the link to where you can find these products. Um, so let's start with the Youth Activating Cream, which is essentially a moisturizer. You can see my little dip in there. So um, this cream contains a peptide complex that is actually found in snail mucin. So this helps with uh, anti-aging, so wrinkles, fine lines, um, un where is this hair coming from? <laughs> Uneven skin tone, um, rough texture, loss of firmness. So just kind of all of the general signs of aging, right? Like as we get older, um, our skin cells don't turn over quite as often. They just need a little bit of a boost. 
Um, and it turns out that um, snail mucin can actually help with that. It has some natural exfoliating benefits to it. Um, it's just a really great ingredient. If you haven't looked into it further, I would definitely research it. Um, I've talked to you guys about snail mucin from some other brands before, so this shouldn't be new to you guys here. So it turns out that the growth factors from snail mucin are actually more readily available in order to be like absorbed into the skin. Um, some of the other ingredients just in this cream right here, why is it so dark? Sorry. I'm, you can see behind me, I'm dealing with a lot of sun today. We have had really nice weather this week, which you know I'm not a fan of, but anyway. So some of the other ingredients in this cream here are hyaluronic acid, Alentoine, uh, meadow foam oil, red quinoa extract. I wanna show you guys the texture because it's a really, really nice texture and this absorbs really nicely into my skin. So um, kind of a lightweight, almost cream gel type texture. And as soon as you like apply it to the skin, it like it's a little bit goes a long way. The first couple times I took way too much and I was bringing it like, I think I was like having to bring it all the way down to like my stomach. <laughs> it just spreads really, really well. Um, but it absorbs very, very quickly. And as soon as it does, you're just left with like a really beautiful finish to the skin. There is a slight glow, but it's not a greasy, oily glow that I have had an issue with from some other moisturizers. It just gives the skin a soft, beautiful appearance. So I really like this moisturizer a lot. Um, and I think it would be great for a variety of skin types. So whether you are very dry or whether you are very oily like me, I do think this one can kind of go across the spectrum there. Second thing I wanna talk about is their serum. So this contains vitamin B5, the snail mucin, um, a lot of other really great ingredients, uh, but those are kind of the standouts for me. This one is specifically supposed to minimize the pores and um, brighten the skin, reduce puffiness. Love the texture of this. I've actually been using this one morning and night. This one I've been actually saving for the night. So this has been my nighttime moisturizer for the last couple weeks. Um, the serum is a wonderful texture. Again, it doesn't take much. Two drops like this is plenty. And you just gently pat it. They they want you to pat it into the skin. I have to admit that sometimes I do the pat rub just to like get it on there and to move about my business um, with the rest of my skincare. But again, such a beautiful product that instantly absorbs into the skin, doesn't leave a greasy mess on your skin at all. I've been using this on my face and my neck and it just is fabulous. Um, again, the snail mucin in here is going to help with that gentle exfoliation. It is going to help to reduce the look of the pores. Um, it's just going to make your skin look and feel a lot healthier. And the last thing is their eye cream. And they actually call this the youth activating eye cream. So this has macadamia, oil, shea butter, snail mucin, and then something else that also is in, I believe it's also in the other two product, is something called uh, Nano Platinum. I think this might be exclusive to them. It's, it might be like a blend of different things. Um, but this is actually an antioxidant. And this eye cream is specifically supposed to address a myriad of under eye issues. I always get a lot of questions about eye creams. I don't think eye creams are an absolute necessity. If you have a really well formulated facial moisturizer that you feel like you can use underneath your eyes and it's not going to cause milia, then just do that. Um, but I think an eye cream can definitely be a benefit to some people. So this one here specifically addresses puffiness. It's supposed to help with dark circles. It helps with dryness underneath the eyes helps with those fine lines, wrinkles, crow's feet that can pop in. 
What I really actually like about this the most, <laughs> and this is silly, but their applicator for it is fantastic. So it's this little wand. It has a metal piece on the top, and I've been keeping this in my skincare fridge. And then um, I also kept the eye cream in the skincare fridge. So you just take a little bit on there, and then you use this little when you take it out of the fridge, it'll be nice and cold, which is part of the reason why I think I love it so much. <laughs> you, um, you know, can gently apply this underneath your eyes. So what I do is I do like a little massage morning and night, each side. And then, now this doesn't like, I don't wanna say rub it in, you're not supposed to rub your under eye area, but you'll have to pat in just a little bit more after you apply this. But once you pat it in, again, it's another one of those that just absorbs very easily, very quickly. And I really, I really like this a lot. Um, no milia, no, like it doesn't clog the pores underneath the eyes at all. I just feel like I have a beautifully hydrated under eye area and works great. I've really been enjoying these products. I think they're fantastic. I think they're definitely worth checking out. Um, I will leave the information for the discount code and the link to their website down below. So take a peek there and um, yeah, let me know if you guys end up trying these products and what, what your thoughts are. If I only had to recommend getting one thing, because I know a lot of us are, we're spending a lot of money for like holiday gifts and stuff right now, so budget might be kind of tight. But if I had to say get one thing from the line, for me, it would be the serum. I think the serum is fantastic and um, it's really nice. Um, if you're in the market for a new eye cream, definitely check this out. Um, it's a pretty standard size, so it's 0.5 fluid ounces, which is a lot for an eye cream. So anyway, there you go. Um, let's get into some hair stuff. So I gotta tell you, I'm kind of new to Lonza, but I'm really liking these products, and you can tell, because I'm like more than half done with both. So I've been using the Lonza Healing Volume Zero Weight Gel. By the way, I bought these at Ulta. I think it was Ulta. Um, they're available other places, but anyway, I'll link it, to, I'll link it down below. Um, and I've also been using the Lonza Healing Volume Thickening Treatment Spray. Both of these have something called a bamboo botifying complex. Um, you guys, I love the way these products feel in my hair. Um, they don't feel sticky or crunchy. Um, it's easy to brush through my hair afterwards. They give me just a really nice amount of like body and volume and like a real like kind of thick feeling to my hair, which is great because, well, I don't have a ton of hair, <laughs> but I love big hair. Whenever I see people with just a ton of hair, I'm always insanely jealous, but I can get part of the way there now with these guys. Uh, these will hands down be repurchased by me when I finish them. Uh, these are really, really great. Also, they smell like a million bucks. I kind of like the smell of this line. I picked up a few more things from them the other day when I was at Ulta, and yeah. There's something about this smell. I think it reminds me of something, which is, sorry, this lighting is terrible today. I should have closed those blinds. Um, but yeah, if you've never tried those, they're fabulous. Okay, I could not get enough of this. I still have not gotten to my Kohl's to purchase the body spray, but maybe this weekend, if I can peel myself off of the couch, I might head to Kohl's. I have to start Christmas shopping for Stella anyway. I have not started it. Well, that's a lie. I bought stuff for my dad and I know what I'm getting my mom, but basically I'm in very beginning stages of gift buying. <laughs> so I will need to go out at some point over the next couple weeks and do that. So uh, I am more than halfway done with this. This is the Scentworks Golden Vanilla Shower Gel. Oh, I love this. You know who else loves it? Stella. <laughs> she takes showers in my bathroom because she likes all the products in there, um, despite the fact that she has her own bathroom. And I'm always like, Stella, do you know how many kids would kill to have their own bathroom? And she's like, yeah, but I like yours. <laughs> so anyway, oh, you guys, this smells like a million bucks. Um, so they say that this is a rich vanilla blended with sponge sugar and coconut cream. Couldn't have said it any better myself. It is so delicious. 
When I use this in the shower, it just makes me happy. Um, also, it doesn't dry my skin out, which is a huge bonus. This is actually a decently moisturizing body wash. Um, I guess I should say it's a non-drying body wash. I wouldn't say that this like leaves me feeling like I just put lotion all over my body. There is a lotion available. Um, I might actually pick that up too, at least for the old legs. Um, but yeah, this, if you have not tried this, I have to get the body spray. I just, I need to douse myself in it. I wish that Harry would come out with a perfume line. Um, and like, and I mean like an eau de parfum, not an eau de toilette. I don't want something that I will have to reapply. Just give it to me, pure, raw. I want to douse myself in it and live in it. All right, let's talk some makeup, guys. You know what's coming. Oh, so beautiful. So this is the Viseart Violet Attendu. I know I'm saying it wrong. If I have any people watching that speak French, I'm sorry. I know I just butchered that. This was inspired by, I think, the Liaison palette. It is just delicious. I did do a toot for you guys, which you saw yesterday. So um, today I did a different eye look. I used some of the uh, brighter colors in here. So today I used this on my lid and then also this beautiful shade right here. What's this one called? Let's find it. Violet. It's beautiful, you guys. And then the this shade here that I used is the Liaison. So absolutely gorgeous, a dream to work with. It's fabulous. Also, I've been pairing it with <laughs> the Petit Four in Lila's as well because I feel like this could have also just been plopped in here. I mean, if this doesn't scream, Melanie, I don't know what does. Well, that just my forehead looks really huge right there. A lot of surface area. Um, anyway, love both of these. I just, I love them. I just want, you know what I need to do? I need to buy, I think Viseart actually came out with one, a, like a palette to put the Viseart stuff in. I, I do think they came out with one. I'm going to have to like hunt it down. I can't remember if it's been released yet or if it's going to be released, but I think I need it because I want to depot all of my Viseart palettes like this and just put them all in one place so that I can dip and mix and match and do things that make me happy. Anyway, these are both gorgeous. If you're in the market for another eyeshadow palette, <laughs> I know you're probably eyeshadow palletted out by now, but mm, this is so pretty. Love it. All right, blush this week. Uh, I had I added another friend to my uh, Hourglass blush collection, Diffused Heat. So my friend Susan Reedy, a long time ago, told me, you need to try this. And I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> and I never got it. Well, now I have it. Um, I have it because they're at Ulta now, which I love, and I love getting my points there, so I don't mind blowing money on these blushes uh, anymore because, well, I get the money back in terms of points. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Anyway, you guys know how the reward system works at Sephora, and you know how it works at Ulta, and you know the one at Ulta is way better. Anyway, I love this. I was afraid at first that this was gonna be way too bright for me. It's not, I actually have it on today. It probably wasn't the best pairing with the purple eyeshadow look, but I just, I can't stop using it. It's beautiful. Another one that I've been using this week also that is just the most neutral, awesome, just whatever blush, if you can't figure out what blush to use type of situation, just use this one. <laughs> it's so neutral. It's great for this time of year. I think it's actually probably great year round, but this is the Patrick Ta monochrome moment velvet blush and she's seductive um i've had this for a little while but this week i really just kind of started like getting into it again i love it it's so easy to just plop on it's beautiful so so beautiful and then for my lips this week um i've just been doing this hourglass now i've, I've had this for a little while but this is the hourglass lip gloss in the shade provoke i lost my little thing on the bottom but I know it's provoked. This is beautiful. This is actually what I have on my lips right now. So just a perfect, another situation of like, if you just, if you don't know what to put on with like whatever you have going on on your eyes, these two are really great options because <laughs> they're super 
more neutral. They're not going to compete with your eye look. And they're just going to complement it and accent it beautifully without being like, hey, I have eyeshadow and blush and lips and everything going on. I'm always of the mindset that you should pick one thing to focus on on your face. So if you want to do a fancy eye look, then everything else should maybe be a little bit more neutral. Um, if you want to do a bright, bold lip, then everything else a little more neutral. So, you know, don't go in with like a crazy smoky eye. Um, if you want your cheeks to really stand out, go in with that contour and really sculpt everything and do a beautiful blush color, but then keep the rest of it much more natural. Um, so anyway, that's, that's my operating theory. You can do whatever you want because it's makeup and there are no rules. I think there's some rules, <laughs> but I don't know. Do whatever makes you happy, whatever floats your boat. I mean, you're the one that is wearing it and if you're proud of it and you enjoy it and you love it, then you sport that. <laughs> don't let people tell you, you shouldn't do that. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. I'll put links for everything down below. A big thanks again to Escafil for sponsoring today's video. Um, I have my charity in mind. <laughs> of course, it's a pug related one, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be donating this money to them and it, a lot of charities have struggled this year. And so in honor of Giving Tuesday, which was a few days ago here, um, we're gonna be giving some more money to them. So. All right, have a great weekend, you guys. If you're interested in home fragrance stuff, there's a little bit coming up this weekend. If not, I'll see you next week for beauty stuff. Take care.